Hi everybody, I'm Rick from eShop Guide, and in this video I want to do a deep dive into our variant image penguin and how you set it up to work best for your store. As you might have seen on our introduction short clip, the purpose of this app is to hide unnecessary thumbnails in case you use product variants. As you can see here, right now I'd only want to see the white thumbnails on the store rather than the entire list. In order to enable this functionality, there are some basic settings that we need to check up front. We recommend to follow the Quick Settings page, which you can find below the App Settings menu and which is also displayed after you install the app. The first thing you want to check is the Option Selector. Our demo store sells underwear and the options we have activated for the products are color and size. Now you have to choose for which options um, or combination of options you want to maintain the images. Usually one option will do. For example, our store has different images based on the color, but not based on the sizes. A white 75A bra will have the same image as a white 85B bra. However, if you want to have different images for both options, that is absolutely possible. You simply have to enable both options. Be careful though, in our app option selection is a setting that is the same for all products. So you need to make sure that the order of the options in your store is also the same for all products. Like with our store, color always comes before size. Please note that the options can be reordered. The second setting we need to check is the thumbnail container. This is the HTML snippet of your store website which contains the thumbnail images. Unfortunately, this container has different names depending on the theme you use. And even though we constantly add new themes to our app, we have not been able yet to capture all containers for the themes out there. In case this field is empty in the settings menu after you installed the app, please check your store HTML for the container. We have a tutorial for this as well, which you can find in the description of this video. If the setting is filled out, you don't have to change anything. Once those settings are done, you can start assigning your images. Note that you can assign each image several times to different variants. You can remove the images by clicking on them. After you assigned the images, the VIP can be enabled. Note that the app can only be activated for all products. In case you have some products where you want no thumbnails to be hidden, you can assign all thumbnails to all variants. That's it for this time.